Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm showing you how I turn my sketches into vector t-shirt designs using Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator together. What I like to do is I always like to start on my iPad Pro and do all of my sketches. And then I take that sketch, which is usually a JPEG or a PNG image, and I import it into Photoshop. And that's where the magic really starts. So let's go ahead and start in Photoshop. I already have a sketch in there, so let's get it. So here is the sketch that we're gonna be turning into a vector t-shirt design today. And I'm going to be adding some color to it and also some text to it just to show you guys how I go about doing everything. And as you can see, it looks really bad, right? It's very blurry. And this is because I ripped it off of my Instagram because my old iPad had the original sketch and I no longer have it. So anyway, long story short, I had to rip it off of Instagram. So it looks really bad, but in a second, we're gonna make it look way better. What you wanna do is add a blur to, to a sketch because what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to round corners and make it look really hand-drawn and clean up the lines. So first off, let's go all the way up to filter, blur, and then we're gonna go to Gaussian blur, okay? With the Gaussian blur, you really only wanna blur it a little bit. So we're gonna do about three um, pixels on the blur hit OK, and as you can see, it does look really blurry, but we're gonna go up to Image, Adjustments, and fix it with a threshold. So again, we're gonna go up to Image, Adjustments, and we're gonna add a threshold adjustment to it. And as you can see, it cleans it up automatically. And then from here, we could take this little slider and move it to the right and bring back some of that detail. You wanna kinda be careful with this. You don't wanna go too crazy. Like, you don't wanna go all the way up like this. So let's just bring it to about like right here somewhere. I think this looks pretty good. We really wanna make sure we're not losing too much information or anything like that, but we do want it to clean up a lot. So this looks pretty good in my opinion. Um, let's go a little bit more. I think this looks good. So we're gonna hit okay. And as you can see, now we're left with this and it looks much better than it did before. Now all I have to do is copy that image from Photoshop and paste it into Illustrator and it's gonna look something like this. And we're already almost done guys. That's how simple this is. And we're just gonna resize it to about right here. This looks pretty good. And then from there, we can actually uh, just hit image trace and it's going to automatically trace your image and turn it into a vector image. And if you go to this little menu on the left side of view, you will actually have these different presets on the very top. And one of them says black and white. We're gonna click on black and white. And then if you go all the way to the bottom under options, you can click ignore white and it's going to make it completely just black. And that's it, we can close that. And we do have a little bit of extra stuff at the bottom here, so I'm just gonna delete that real quick. And now this is already ready to print. If I drag it onto the gray, you could see that it's just the black ink now. But let's go ahead and add some color real fast. So I'm gonna do this really quickly because I don't wanna spend too much time on it. So once you find a color that you like, you can literally just send this to the back. Once you find a color you like, just send that color to the back so your sketch is above it. And then we're gonna take this uh, Shape Builder tool and just use it to cut out parts that we don't want. We're gonna do the same thing for the plants now. So I'm gonna take my pen tool and we're gonna go with a green color this time. So maybe more like this. And then again, we could send that to the back. So Shift Command and the left bracket. And I'm gonna select everything, go to my Shape Builder now, and we're just going to delete the outside. So you can clean it up as much as you want, but as you can see, we already have color and everything. And if we really wanted to take this even further, I can add some text. So I don't know what to put, maybe you are. And let's go ahead and put this on a t-shirt in Photoshop. So I'm gonna go to Photoshop again, open up one of my mockups, and then um, I dragged it into the folder where it says design goes here. And as you can see, it looks like it's on the shirt now, and we can lower the fill a little bit if we wanna make it look really realistic. Now let's go ahead and do one more because I want you guys to really get this. So again, I'm importing my image Image from my phone actually I just airdropped it and as you can see it looks super blurry but again we're gonna add a Gaussian blur to it Gaussian however you want to say it we're gonna go to image adjustments and threshold this is where the magic happens guys and we're just gonna raise that threshold up until we bring some of that detail back so about like right there looks pretty damn good so I'm adding a layer mask just so I can mask out some of the areas that I don't want there's a lot of little speckles everywhere so we want to get rid of that before importing it into Adobe Illustrator. And then we're gonna make a new artboard for this selection. Now we're gonna do the same exact process, guys. We're gonna select the image, hit image trace. As soon as you hit image trace, you're pretty much done. You can fine tune the selections though, like by messing with the corners in the pass. I don't really mess with those too much, but if you're seeing that something looks a little too jagged or the edges are a little too rough, you can always mess with those parameters and mess with the noise to really fine tune the image. But I think this looks really good as is. So now all I have to do is go to options, ignore white, and then expand it. And now we have a vector image made from my drawing. And that's pretty much it. If you guys are like me and you draw on the iPad all the time, or even if you have a sketch that you made on paper, it works the same way, guys. So um, definitely try this method out. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, let me know in the comment section below and make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss another
that was loud. And if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, make sure you guys subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and uh, let me know what you guys think about the video in the comment section below, or just say hi. I love talking to you guys. Uh, my name's Charlie Pingus. Keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.